Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is an update on my student loan slash post-secondary journey. I know I said I wouldn't update again until after I've started classes so maybe this clip will go at the end of my last update or maybe this will go at the beginning of my November update. Or I might just forget about it altogether as it's on my phone and my other ones are on my computer. But we will see. So, why am I filming this quick little update for you guys today? Well, I just decided to go on the National Student Loan Service Center website. And I saw that my funding is going to arrive at my school by November 5th. And the remaining is, that's not needed for this semester is going to be sent to me. I'm guessing around November 5th as well. They didn't say that. However, on the provincial website, my provincial student loan, because what's what's being sent to me in my school is my in Canada student grant for low income people and my Canada student loan. My other Canada student grant for low income for next semester looks fine, but my provincial student loan um, is still not showing that's completed. Mind you, that's not going to be, eh, that doesn't come into play until second semester, which for me is March. So seeing how everything for this semester just got finalized over the last week, and we're only like two, three weeks out of my start date, I'm not too concerned because that means that my provincial student loan technically should be finished in February, at the beginning of February, so we have time on that one. But back to what I was saying with the National Student Loan Service Center, so oh, the funding's going to be received on November 5th, and there's a bit of a difference between what they are sending my school and what my school needs. So I emailed financial aid to see if the difference will go towards second semester or if maybe there's tax on my tuition that I didn't know about or if the school will send me the money once they take what they need. I don't know, and this may be a really obvious question, but I emailed financial aid at University of Athabasca just to be sure. So yeah, basically that's the update. And a little side note to that is I do my banking with RBC, not sponsored in the least, but that's who I do my banking with. And I was on a promotional plan thing from last fall where I get no banking fees and unlimited transactions. So I just switched over to a student bank account, which to get the no banking fee, I'm down to like 25 transactions a month. And seeing as I am a student and should be saving my money, that should not be a problem. However, I like to shop, so we will see. It may be more financially beneficial to do the unlimited transactions at $10 a month. We will reevaluate that down the road, but I also opened a savings account for, with 1% interest monthly, and you're probably wondering what this has to do with being a student. Well, remember a couple minutes ago where I said that the National Student Loan Service Center was sending the school the money that I need for my classes this semester? 
and that they were sending me the money for second semester. Well, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I like to shop. So if it just goes in my checking account, it's going to get spent. Especially with me potentially being on unemployment by December for who knows how long because the job market where I am is not great. But I'm not worrying about that now. Point is, is if the money is in my checking account, I know I'm going to spend it. So I opened a savings account with 1% interest. My loan for second semester is going to go into said savings account at 1% interest. And that's about $4,500 going in that 1% interest from now until... Well, until March when it's due. So, I came up with that brilliant idea. Because now my loan can start paying itself back. <laughs> Save the anxiety on me. I don't know if anyone else out there has ever thought of doing this before, but I just thought it of, thought it of it out of nowhere and it's a brilliant idea getting your loan to pay for itself so that is my plan because again I'm getting like 13,000 total of loan and about 3,000 is a grant so 10,000 I have to pay back and this semester is only about 5,000, so ooh, I figure the rest go into the savings account, save it for when Athabasca requests it, and just have it save itself. Either uh, in that case, I will either need less of a loan next year or I can stop paying it back sooner, whichever I choose. But it gives me more options than if I just put in my checking account, spent it because I was unemployed and then can't afford next semester. So that is what I'm doing and this update has gone on longer than I intended to. So I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you guys all in November.